Hey everybody. Over the years I have treated my tanks many times for cyanobacteria and I've often been asked by people why don't I use emycin or erythromycin to treat for the cyanobacteria. It'll kill it, it'll be done, it'll be gone and you won't ever have to worry about it. So in the past I've always had sort of vague answers as to why I've never used the emycin and today I can actually give you a definitive reason why I will not be using the emycin to treat for my uh, cyanobacteria. So my reasons in the past have always been that A, I could never find it. Every time I looked for it, I never found aquarium emycin. I didn't want to try to get some from the vet and do all that kind of stuff. So it was just never available to me. The other thing was that I've heard mixed reviews about whether or not it affects your nitrogen cycle. I know there's a lot of you out there that say it doesn't, but there's a lot of you out there that say it does. And so I've never really wanted to kind of find out for myself just in case it did. I would kind of want to do that in a controlled environment, not while I was treating a tank for something. And so those two things alone always kind of put me off to even wanting to use this stuff. But the other day I found it, it was in my local PetSmart. I bought some aquarium grade API emycin. That is exactly what everybody has been recommending that I use over the years. And I bought the two boxes that they had in stock. And when I got home and I started reading the instructions a little more carefully and I started calculating how much I was actually gonna need and I started looking at the cost of it, I quickly realized that that's just absolutely no way I'm going to be treating this 125 gallon tank with this emycin that would cost me over a hundred dollars to do one treatment now i know a lot of people say well once you treat it with the emycin it'll never come back i don't believe that any more than i believe once you get algae out of your tank algae will never come back it's cyanobacteria it's going to come back and so if i'm spending a hundred dollars per treatment that's that's not feasible. I cannot do that. If, if I could afford to do that, I would not do that because that's just an enormous waste of money. I can buy ChemiClean that treats the cyanobacteria just fine and one little $15 bottle does like 900 gallons of water or something like that. It costs me $15 or $18 and it lasts me for treatment after treatment after treatment. Whereas this stuff, they didn't even have enough in stock for me to be able to do a treatment they had two boxes i would need five boxes in order to do one treatment on this tank so i've thought about returning the boxes i got i've thought about maybe doing a treatment on my 40 uh brackish tank because that's just filled with that red sign of bacteria that's a really nasty tank and that would be a good tank to really test it out but when i thought about it i don't even have enough to do that i'd still be two packages short at the end of the treatment i would have to wait until the store got more in and buy a third package, which at $20 a pop, that would be $60 I would now have invested into doing one single treatment and just I'm not going to spend that kind of money so that's it that's the bottom line for me I'm simply not willing to spend a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or whatever to treat a tank for cyanobacteria that's ridiculous now as far as using it as a medication and putting a, a fish in a hospital tank that's a 10 gallon tank or a 20 gallon tank if you got a slightly larger fish you need a little more room emycin will work great as a medication as a cyanobacteria treatment not a chance never never going to use this stuff to treat for cyanobacteria not ever going to spend that kind of money i don't see cyanobacteria as that big a deal i'll get in there and physically do water changes and remove it with a siphon before i spend a hundred dollars to treat a tank one time for cyanobacteria it's not ever going to happen like that so that's it that's the long and short of it i'm just not going to spend that kind of money to use emycin to treat for cyanobacteria i'll use it to treat as a medication but i will not be using emycin as a cyanobacteria treatment so let me know what you think let me know what your thoughts are down below don't forget i do a live stream every friday and sunday night at 8 p.m i do a members only live stream on wednesday nights at 8 p.m and then of course if you're subscribed and you ring that bell you won't miss any of my little oddballs that i do here and there and you never know what you're going to get with me so thanks for watching this one and i'll see you real soon in the next one